Yo, what is good everybody? It's your boy Boone, the young lesbian reseller, back up in this bitch with a brand new video. In today's video, we're gonna be rating another rapper's outfits. The last person I did was Playboy Cardi, who in my opinion was somebody that was like pretty easy to like use for rating outfits just because I love Playboy Cardi's like style so much. I've paid a lot of attention to his style throughout the year, so that was kind of like an easier rapper for me. Today I want to kind of like push myself, try to do someone different that I might not agree with their style as much. So I just Decided to choose Jaden Smith. What you call an icon living? Start a record label, Miss Fish just did it. Boom. I can't remember exactly, but I swear somebody commented on the last video I did rating a subscriber's outfit saying Jaden Smith, and I was like, you know what? That's a great idea. He's got some very out there, adventurous outfits, and I wanted to kind of look over them with you guys, rate them, see if I agree with them, see if I disagree with them, and at the end, I'll give you guys my overall just score of Jaden Smith's style, just in my opinion. In my last video, I asked you guys to comment some rappers' outfits that you want to see me rate. Um, I got some some comments of people like ASAP Rocky, Kanye West, like Ian Connor, um, and I just want to say people like that I'm 150% for sure going to be covering in this series, um, but I'm going to ask you guys to comment some rappers down below again and try to think of some more obscure people because um, I can tell you right now like the more basic people like known for their fashion like Travis Scott, ASAP Rocky 100% will be covered in this series eventually. I want to also include some people though they are a bit more obscure. I consider Jaden Smith a little more obscure just because he's not like a crazy known rapper. Um, his outfits are very out there and I don't know if I'm gonna agree with them or disagree with them um, I picked some pictures from the internet of him just like paparazzi photos in LA and stuff like that with some weird outfits some cool outfits um, so let's just jump to the video smash the like if you guys enjoy this series also please do drop a subscription to my channel if you're new I actually have some awesome video ideas on the way I came up with some sick ideas today so nonetheless let's get into this video so we're gonna start off with this first outfit I feel like I should say this um, with a lot of the stuff Jaden Smith wears I can't even tell you the brand name of it and stuff because it's either very obscure or it's like a custom himself he does a lot of like custom fit stuff especially with his pants you guys will see that in this video and you can obviously tell in this first outfit that's the case so in this first outfit the homie's got like an all black camp cap I can't tell what the brand name is um, a striped t-shirt it looks like kind of like a burgundy and white striped shirt in the pants department my homie's got the navy blue trousers with these crazy cut and sew patches of it looks like like these vintage Harley Davidson t-shirts um, honestly this is such an out there outfit Outfit. Down in the shoe region, my man's feet looking very strange. Like we got these black shoes with the neon laces, we got these brown shoes with the black laces. Like they're super contrasting. But I'm not even gonna lie, I actually kind of like this outfit. Like I looked at it for a while and I didn't know how I felt about it because it's so weird. Like it doesn't make sense at all. The cut and sews all over the pants like are super loud and out there. But I kind of like how the rest of the outfit's so minimal. I think it allows the pants to be super loud. Um, and it actually doesn't look like that bad. I will say the shoes is like crazy adventure. Like I don't even know how I feel about the shoes still let me know what you guys think of that Like I just kind of definitely appreciate him being very different You don't see anyone dressing like this and I mean trying to be courageous with fashion I think is a super awesome like thing to do um, going out of like your own style lane doing your own thing That's crazy to me um, So I have to give him kudos for that just off the bat and I actually do like this outfit Just because like the rest of it's so basic which allows the pants to do all the talking um, The Harley Davidson like vintage aesthetic on the pants is fire I always love vintage stuff and he incorporates a ton of vintage like band t-shirts Harley Davidson shirts stuff like that onto his pants and cut and sew pieces so I gotta give him kudos for that if he did the cut and sew himself like even harder outfit if he had some stylist do it for him it's a little bit more lame I have to say in this next picture I actually have him in the exact same outfit except now he's got the supreme Louis Vuitton drip on I have to say I don't like the jacket at all I think the jacket makes this outfit a lot worse I still like the color palette he's kind of got going on however um, I just think like the mon Instagram design is way too loud over stripes and these crazy pants like it's just doing too much It's too chaotic of an outfit without the jacket though I do like this fit so next up I definitely realized like a huge pattern a lot of stuff he wears and it's kind of similar to me Honestly, he wears like a lot of vintage t-shirts and then he'll always have some like crazy dripping ass like uh, Shoulder bag in this case. He's got again the supreme Louis Vuitton shoulder bag super fire I have to say I'm not a big fan of the supreme Louis Vuitton collection But that side bag is probably the highlight piece of the whole um, collab in my opinion for his pants in this picture I can't even tell like what is on those like it looks like it could be fire looks like it could be fishes looks like it could be hot air balloons I have 
no idea what's on his pants, but I love the colors of them. He's got some new balances, very basic new balances on feet, which I think are super clean. Like I usually wouldn't rock new balance shoes, but I do like these ones. Maybe it's just because I like white shoes. You already know I got the Bapes design today. Come on, son. I had to. If you missed my unboxing yesterday, go watch that. Um, but I love this outfit just because the colors like match up really well. Um, the shirt obviously goes super well with the pants. That Iron Maiden vintage drip looks fire. I love vintage band tees, Metallica, Nirvana, um, Iron Maiden. Like they all go super hard, I do have to say. In terms of Jaden Smith's style, this seems to be like a lot more laid back of like an outfit. He usually gets a lot crazier than this. I think this is actually one of his like cleaner fits. It's not too out there and I think his hair goes really well with the rest of the outfit. Just makes it a little more obscure. You can obviously tell he got that hair color from the Frank Ocean Blonde album. So I have this other outfit that's actually crazy similar to that last outfit I showed you. It's again just like some basic vintage t-shirt. Um, I'm not sure what the pants are. I believe those are some Louis Vuitton shoes. They're super wild. Like I don't even know how I feel about them but he actually can rock them pretty well and then again he has a Supreme Louis Vuitton bag as kind of like the highlight piece. It seems he likes to do that a lot kind of contrasting the side bag with the rest of his outfit. I really like these deserty tones he's using in this outfit and I actually think again this is more of his laid back style when he's just doing these basic fits with the little like pop in side bag. Um, so let's get into his more obscure fits. I do think these are very clean outfits. So this next outfit is a big no no like I couldn't only do my mans with the clean fits. I had to show off some of the, like the just tragic outfits he tries to put together because sometimes um, this dude like tries a little too hard to be different in my opinion like um, I do appreciate it when he has like the cut and sew pieces and stuff with the loud patterns and everything. I think that's cool. I think that's different and interesting but something like this like you're just looking like 2011 ASAP Rocky with like the black funeral skirts and stuff like that like that weird trend is over Ben Trill is kill like Virgil's on Louis Vuitton now he's so far beyond that everyone's beyond that however my man still has the skirt on I don't know how I feel about it I actually do know how I feel about it I'm not feeling it at all um, this is just my man Jaden Smith being way too out there he's got some like New York subway t-shirt that he probably got at some like gift shop for five dollars some pretty ugly pants I don't know what pants they are what looks like some basic ass shoes um, the colors in this just like are all off the skirt is just like it's, it's it's a lot to handle like I don't even want to look at this picture anymore this is rough I'd be covering my face too if I was caught in public with this outfit on so I got to give you an L for this one Jane Smith but again I will give you props for being different and really just going out there and doing your own thing so this next outfits one of my favorites just because I think the individual pieces in it are so fire I'm not sure what this t-shirt is it kind of looks like little maps you'd get for like um, colorblind tests or something like that it says underneath those little prints and never saw super edgy so you're no, I love it. Um, what I love about the pants here is he has a Metallica t-shirt uh, cut and sewn on the pants yet again. Um, I actually recognize this Metallica t-shirt design because I used to have this t-shirt. So I have to give props to him. It looks like he's got the all black vans and then some like red and blue white stride socks. I think this is like a crazy hard outfit. If I saw someone in public wearing this, I would have to go out of my way to compliment them because I love it so much. Um, I have to say, Jaden Smith surprised me in this video just because I thought I'd be hating a lot more of his outfits than I actually did. Um, that picture of him in that skirt from that last picture is from like 2017 I think like a year ago when he was a little bit more weird you definitely can tell he's matured in his fashion decisions a lot more um, ever since he's gotten the shaved head like he used to have very long dreads and that's when he was kind of on some weird shit he got them cut and I definitely think his style has improved a lot more so kudos to him we're gonna end off this video with one more outfit and man is it a tragedy yet again uh, I don't even know what my man was thinking with this one first off I do have to give props to the palace scarf if a lot of you didn't know that is a palace piece I'm not sure what the hoodie is it looks like he put um, a vintage NASCAR tee on the side I believe that's vintage NASCAR um, and then again some like different pants I don't know and what I hate the most about this picture is the human races I am not a fan of human races at all I'm sure some of you are like freaking out about that honestly I don't like most hypey shoes like hypey shoes I don't even know what to call them I'm not a sneakerhead for shit when it comes to sneakers I like bare minimum minimalistic casual stuff and like human races um, I just don't like the silhouette they look like NMDs which I absolutely hate. The two different sneakers look so jumbled and bad in this. In that first picture we looked at he had two different sneakers on but I thought the rest of his outfit was like a lot less toned down. It wasn't so loud but this one is just like all over the place. Um, the scarf doesn't match anything in my opinion. The shoes don't match anything like uh, this is just all bad for me. I hate this outfit. Again he's trying to be different but like the human races the two different colors just looks really trash in my opinion. Again I just don't like human races. I think the silhouette looks bad. 
I don't know what it is, but a lot of the Adidas popular silhouettes, in my opinion, look really, really bad with jeans. I think Ultra Boost look bad with jeans. I think Yeezys look tragic with jeans. Um, and I, again, I hate the human races with jeans. Like, it's just not a look for me. So this probably is worst outfit um, behind that little skirt flick. So after looking at all these photos, think in your head what you would rate Jaden Smith in terms of his style. I think back in like 2017, it was looking rough. Like, it was only going downhill from there. But my man just cut off the dreads. It looks like he got his peace of mind. He got his mind right. And he actually started to put together some really fire outfits. I'd give him like an 8, I think. I gave Cardi a 9, I want to say. I'd give Jaden Smith an 8 just because I think his style is improving more and more. Um, I like that he's so out there with his fashion. You can definitely tell he's doing his own thing. It doesn't look like he's just biting off like other people and it doesn't look like he's just wearing like the most basic bare minimum outfits. Um, his old outfits were very hard to witness. His new fits are cool though. I kind of like his merch for his whole like sire shit, like his whole album and stuff like that. Um, I think the merch is interesting. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you want me to react to any more rappers, let me know down in the comment section. Please do comment some like original obscure people because I promise people like Kanye and stuff will be coming in this series eventually but I do want to throw in some weirder names and stuff like that. It's been your boy Boone. Please do sub to the channel again if you're new. Um, I'm going to have a new giveaway coming for you guys soon I promise. Like I got to do another rating my subscribers outfit videos. I've been getting asked a ton ever since I started doing this reacting to like rappers outfits so yeah I got you guys on that video. I'm rambling at the end of the video like always. It's been your boy Boone. I'm going to shut this one down. I'm out. Peace.